my friends! Today I will be doing the blind cosplay challenge. If you are familiar with the no mirror makeup challenge or the blind makeup challenge, it's basically the same thing, but instead of using a generic makeup look, you will be doing it in cosplay. I first saw this challenge on the Cosplay Amino app. Cosplay Amino is a relatively new app that's made just for the cosplay community. You can connect with each other through blog posts, forums, polls, people post tutorials. It's a really great resource for networking and making new friends. So if you are on Cosplay Amino as well, go ahead and find me at TaraFYW and give me a follow and we can have fun talking about cosplay and makeup and props and wigs. It's really fun. So anyways, let's get into it. So the character I chose for this this challenge is Crystal Lens from Attack on Titan. Also, if you do see me looking at something, I promise you it is only my phone for the photo reference. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to apply some face primer first. In case you are wondering, I will not be including any product information in this video because why? Now we're going to apply some liquid foundation. I'm going to skip concealer today and I am just going to stipple this all over my face. So far so good. I thought I was going to have a lot of anxiety doing this, but you know what? I feel okay for now. I feel like if you're someone who applies makeup often, even if it's not like a full face of makeup or any sort of heavy, you know, really involved makeup, I feel as though after a while your body sort of gets used to moving and functioning in a certain way. So maybe, just maybe, this might turn into a cause test. So because this liquid foundation sets by itself, I'm not going to put any powder on top of it and I'm going to... let's just do the nose contour. Just contouring the sides of my nose here, bringing it down below the nose, on the nostril. Taking the larger side of the brush, I'm gonna blend it out. I feel like everything's going really well so far. Maybe I'm just getting a little too cocky. Is that enough one next to eyebrows? I'm just going to lighten up my natural brow just a little bit. The white eyeliner pencil, just lightly going through the brow. All right, and I'm going to use a pale yellow color that matches my wig. If you saw my last video, I actually showed you a similar way to do your eyebrows. So next I'm going to apply, oop, that's way too much, eyeshadow primer. This is a nude color. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Now we're going to move on to some eyeshadow. We're going to go pretty neutral for Miss Crystal Lens. So I'm just going to take a neutral colored eyeshadow. This is actually like an iridescent white, but when you blend it out, you can't really tell. And we're gonna apply this all over the lid. Oh, I had a bigger flash. All right, yes, this is better. I feel like we're in business now. Still really confident that this will turn out pretty well. So we're gonna take a taupe eyeshadow now, and we're just going to take it on the end of a small shader brush, and we're going to apply this to the crease. We're going to take the brush we had in the very beginning, and we're just going to blend this out. I'm telling you guys, I'm on a mission to make this look good. 
Not that this is supposed to turn out well. It's purposefully meant to set you up for failure. Let's put some taupe underneath the eye, shall we? Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. That's right. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Moving on to liquid eyeliner. Now, I do feel a little bit of anxiety, but it's okay. We got this. We just gotta go slow and remind ourselves that it's a marker and it can't hurt us. It is more afraid of us than we are of it. Like a spider. So we're just gonna... Oh, oh. this is gonna be hard. I feel like this is the turning point of the video where it's like everything was great until now. The confidence within me has dissolved. I'm no longer a happy camper, but we're going to push on forward. We are going to tightline with a black eyeliner pencil. We are not done with the eyes just yet, though I kind of wish we were because this liquid eyeliner really, really proved to be quite the challenge. And then we're gonna go over the waterline with a white eyeliner pencil. I want to go back to the eyeshadow really fast and just take a little bit of black eyeshadow. The next step is the lashes. See, this is not scary for me because I'm so used to doing this. Oh, easy peasy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some volumizing mascara. All right, a little challenging. Oop. And last but not least, we have lip gloss. I'm just gonna take this pinky, peachy, nude color and I'm just gonna go for it. See, easy, easy, easy. Okay, so we are done with the makeup, finally. And I'm gonna put on the wig and style it to the best of my abilities. Oh, okay. Oh man. Oh man. This wig is obviously not a Krista wig. I'm just trying to make the best of it. It's just such a mess. Da You know what? It's actually not that bad. I mean, the eyeliner, obviously the eyeliner is not that great, but like everything else, the lashes look good. You know, I thought for sure after I applied the liquid eyeliner, everything was just gonna go downhill from there. But you know what? I'm looking at this. It's not bad. And even the eyebrows, like I'm really, really surprised pleasantly surprised. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel Tara for Your Wellness for more videos like this and other fun things. And don't forget to follow me on Cosplay Amino. Until next time, take care and stay well.